A former Anaheim City Councilwoman has an interesting strategy for her bid to become the city's next mayor. Instead of running against Mayor Tom Tate, she wants him to run for a city council seat, clearing the way for her to run for mayor. Reporter David Nazar joins us with the details. David? Ed and Ann, we're talking about former longtime Anaheim Councilwoman Lori Galloway, who was termed out of office last year. Well, now she wants back in as mayor. What makes this so odd is that Galloway was often Tate's ally over the years on key council votes, even saying on record at council meetings that he was a great mayor showing strength and courage. Well, nobody's more stunned than Tate himself. Either former Anaheim Councilwoman Lori Galloway is getting a jump on the game to run for mayor, or she truly believes Mayor Tom Tate is doing a poor job, has been ineffective, and has become isolated, her words. Either way, Galloway says Tate should call it quits and possibly run for a council seat in the November 2014 election. I believe that I have something very different that I can offer. There is no doubt right now there is acrimony and dissension on the current council and that causes stagnation. I see it that he's isolated. I see it that he's isolated from the staff as well as the other council members. and. It, what it does is it, it causes him to not be able to get things done. Well, how, in your opinion, is he ineffective? Well, to do anything, to get anything done, you have to build consensus. No matter how you do it, you must build consensus. Galloway says Mayor Tate is unable to build those bridges, both with fellow council members and outside entities, to get things done. She had uh, called me and she had told me personally that uh, that was her plan. It was, uh, uh, I was frankly, I was shocked. <laughs> uh, my, oh, it, that's silly. It's, I mean, why would I run for council when I'm the mayor? It makes no sense. Mayor Tate has been under fire recently by critics who claim he consistently loses four to one votes on such crucial Anaheim City issues as hotel tax subsidies, the Angel Stadium lease, and district-based voting for council members that Latino groups are seeking. Tate says he is going to continue to stand on principle and not just go along to get along. Tate says he's going to fight for the taxpayer, not the rich developer promising campaign contributions to candidates. It's very odd. I've never heard of it before. Uh, and of course, I'm not going to uh, run for council. I'm, I'm the mayor, and I'm, uh, I've got uh, uh, initiatives that we're working on, and we're, we're making great progress, I believe. And, and no, I'm not going to, absolutely not going to step down. Uh, when I took over uh, uh, the mayorship, um, the city was losing about $56,000 a day. It had been for two years under a uh, uh, former administration. Uh, we cut $15 million out of the budget structurally right off the bat. Now we're back to uh, adding back to our surplus, which is almost depleted, and we're actually adding back to it. So, so financially, we're doing well. Galloway says Tate's leadership has not improved Anaheim. She says there's a big gap between the haves and the have-nots. The minority community is not being heard, and there are major infrastructure problems. Galloway says the mayor's only answer to all of this is that kindness will cure all that ails Anaheim. Are you possibly too moral, too <laughs> ethical, too kind for this job? I mean, you want to kill them with kindness. Maybe you're just killing yourself in the process. Is that a real question? <laughs> that is a real question. Are you too kind for this job? No, no. That's like you can't be too kind for a job. I mean, kindness, I, as you know, I ran on a platform of, of freedom and kindness, and I think that's, uh, that's the... Um, uh, you know, when you talk about creating social infrastructure and social capital in a city where a community comes together, it's the kindness that is really the mortar to all that. I don't want to bash the, the kindness agenda. It is always right to be kind and compassionate. But there are times when we need to be strong, we need to work to build that consensus because you got to get things done. In the end, you have to get things done. And he's not doing that? I don't see it. Kindness is a strength, and it that doesn't, sometimes it's associated with, some people might associate that with uh, 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 not being strong, but uh, kindness is it actually it's the ultimate strength. Well, again, it's just bizarre that Galloway is saying Mayor Tate is not a strong leader after praising him for his strength and leadership on different occasions in public. Anyway, the council majority that has been opposing Mayor Tate has to be really enjoying this drama. They want to get rid of him, and now Galloway, well, she could help them do that. 
And something else to remember, while Galloway often sided with Tate on the council, one area they did differ on is how to deal with the city's public employee unions. Ed and Ann, Tate has been a stickler for cutting back on pensions and the like. Galloway is much friendlier with the unions. And by the way, both of you are kind. Oh, thank you, David. <laughs> you, you too, David. Yes. Thanks. Thanks, David.